Hi, my name is Tony Polias, and you're watching episode 12, Create EPUBs with LibreOffice. Today I'm going to show you how to use LibreOffice Writer to export your documents in the EPUB format. Uh, I don't know about you, but I really enjoy uh, reading um, books on my ebook reader or my tablet. And LibreOffice will let you export documents in the EPUB format, which you can then import into many of today's ebook readers or tablets. I'm going to open a document that I've already prepared. Um, it's essentially the first uh, couple chapters of, of, or first chapter or so of Moby Dick. I uh, inserted an image there. I did some very basic formatting for the chapter heading and the paragraphs. And we're going to take this short document and export it into the EPUB file format so that we can then later import it into our ebook reader. Uh, for LibreOffice, or LibreOffice natively doesn't have the ability to uh, create EPUB documents, so you're going to have to download an extension in order to give it this functionality. And there's several of them out there. And there's this one, which is called Writer 2x HTML, uh, and it works fairly well. It gives you an additional dialog option when, or additional file format option when you're in the export dialog of LibreOffice Writer, uh, which will let you export it into an EPUB file format. There's two versions of this. There's the 1.2 beta and the 1.02. The 1.02 will not let you export an EPUB, but the 1.2 will. As you can see, though, this particular extension has not been updated in a while. And so it, even though it still works, uh, there are some issues that need to be worked out. And it looks like n not too much work has been done on it. So uh, I, Generally speaking, I prefer to stay away from those type of extensions. I found this other one too, which is called Writer to EPUB, um, and this one doesn't put the option in the export dialog. It gives you a menu item and as well as a toolbar that will let you export the file as in the EPUB file format. One thing I didn't like about this particular one is that uh, it inserted a um, essentially an advertisement on the last page. Of course, it's free. Um, so, you know, you can take that uh, as it is, but, you know, I definitely want to support the authors of these uh, extensions, but it, and that is something you might want to consider when creating EPUB documents using LibreOffice. And the last one that I have here is one called ELAIX. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, uh, but it seems to be very well supported. Um, it has a quick start guide as well that you can download, um, and this will also install a toolbar in your LibreOffice that will let you export any documents uh, in the EPUB file format. As you can see here, it's uh, compatible with LibreOffice versions 3.3 all the way up to 4.0. It's licensed under the GPL. And this is the one that I'm going to show you how to use today. So go ahead and download uh, the LAIX extension and save it uh, somewhere on your hard drive. In order to install an extension in LibreOffice, you go down to the Tools menu and then select the Extension Manager. In the Extension Manager, you have the option to add a new extension, so go ahead and click that button, then navigate to wherever you have downloaded the extension. In my case would be the Downloads folder. Click on the extension that you want to install and hit Open. Uh, you'll be prompted to read through the license agreement. Again, this particular extension is licensed under the GPL, but that's something you want to take a close look at if that's uh, important to you. So go ahead and hit accept and you'll see that the new extension is now listed in my extension manager. I found that by in just doing that, it doesn't always show up in LibreOffice, so sometimes you have to restart LibreOffice as well. We're going to go ahead and do that and close that extension manager and uh, close LibreOffice. And we'll open it again. And you'll see there's a new toolbar that was installed that we didn't have previously. One thing I don't like about this particular extension is that the toolbar that it installs uh, uses icons that are very low resolution, so they look a little blurry. But we can get rid of this tool by, toolbar by going to the View menu, Toolbars, and then unselect the E-L-I-I-X toolbar and it disappears. Okay. But the menu option is still there and this is really what we need in order to create ex or export documents to the EPUB file format. Uh, now you'll you'll probably run into errors if you try to export a blank document or a document that you haven't saved. So be sure that you save your document before you export it into the EPUB file format. I'm going to open the one that I uh, showed you previously, the Moby Dick. 
and we're going to export this into the EPUB file format. Now when you click the export uh, to EPUB option under the ELAIX menu option you get this dialog that says export to EPUB. In here you have the ability to set very various pieces of the metadata including the title, the ISBN number, the language, the author. Uh, you have additional information that you can enter here, uh, provide a description, and this is all used by your ebook reader. Um, so if if you if you're meticulous about the libraries that you maintain in your ebook reader, make sure you fill all this information out. Uh, one thing that I like to make sure I have is a cover uh, for each one of my ebooks, and uh, here under the content option, you have the ability to set the cover for this particular ebook. Uh, what we're going to use is that picture of the whale and so we'll just leave it at the default the way it is right now which is a cover from the document is going to ask you the image to use and that's graphic one which is that whale that we have. You also have the option to uh, set the scaling of the image but we're just going to leave that at the default. All right. Once you've selected all the options that you want, click on down to the export option or export menu selection here, and click the export button. Uh, it just takes a second, but you can see it's it's finished exporting here. You'll get confirmation there, and we can go ahead and close. Of course, it didn't change anything in LibreOffice itself. What it did what did was uh, save the EPUB file in the same directory that we have the uh, O. Uh, the LibreOffice Writer document, the ODT document. So if you open up the Finder, uh, I put save this particular document under My Documents. Uh, you'll see that we have the MobyDick.odt and the MobyDick.epub. Now, if you want to test this out on your computer, if you're running Li uh, Linux, you can use a program called uh, Caliber. Caliber is a ebook management. Uh, program lets you uh, read your ebooks as well as export them into different file formats or sync them with your different devices. So we're going to go ahead and uh, add the mobydick.epub to that so we can take a look and see what it looks like in this particular program. Now I found that each uh, you know ebook reader and each uh, piece of software that you use to read epubs renders things slightly different so uh, there's a lot of things to consider when you're creating your document. Um, and it's really hard to test to, if you're very meticulous the, about formatting and things like that it uh, might get very frustrating but as you can see here this particular Moby Dick ebook that we have used that whale image as the cover of course it's you know the size is a little off and and uh, there's no title or anything on that so you might want to use a different type of image if you're creating these for your own, yourself but it uh, gets the point across. So if we double click on that, it'll open up in our ebook e viewer. And here you can see again we have the picture of the whale, we have the title of the book, and the actual text. Now the formatting was transferred uh, fairly accurately, but there are some things that are not quite the same. For example, uh, there's an extra space here between the uh, chapter one heading and the first paragraph, which in our original document there wasn't quite that much just one space there. Another thing that you'll notice in our original document we indented each the start of each paragraph with a tab and you do not see that in the ebook uh, format itself. Also the very last page seems to have duplicated our whale image uh, which we do not have in our original open office document. But the nice thing that it did do was create a table of contents for you uh, here since we just have one chapter heading uh, or one main section and brings it back to that. So it didn't pick up the chapter one heading for whatever reason. So there are some limitations, but if really what you're mostly concerned with is the content itself, this is a great uh, tool that you could use to create EPUB documents and view them in a huge variety of different devices. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.